Hey everybody out there in Jewish National Fund world, Am Yisrael out there, we're preparing for Rosh Hashanah this Friday, coinciding with Erev Shabbat as well, and it's one of the most amazing days on the Jewish calendar as we prepare to awaken our souls, to prepare ourselves for cleansing, for repentance, for asking for forgiveness. And so I was asked to talk for a moment about the shofar. There's a lot to do with the shofar. For example, this being the ram's horn, a reminder of the binding of Isaac, Akedat Yitzchak, the almost sacrificial offering uh, that Abraham uh, did for his son Isaac. So that's the reminder there. And a lot of the items we use in our tradition and practice are embedded with memories. They're meant to conjure up images and reminders of our history and where we've come from. Um, there's a lot to say about the Shofar. One of the other things I want to just point out is that in the Torah, in the Bible, it talks about this being uh, Yom Tua Yelachim. You should have a blasting of a day, literally a blasting of a day, or the day itself should be this essence of awakening, like an entirety. Imagine the Shofar blast lasting internally for 24 hours so that we're constantly in the state of awareness, the state of awakening. Uh, so hopefully that will be the case for us all. And what I'll do now is blow in the shofar. And before I do, I want to wish you and your families a Shana Tovah Metukam, a 5781 be better than 5780. May we be blessed with good health, joy, and, uh, and, and lots of goodness coming our way. Love and light from Israel.